Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, I want to thank everyone for all your love and support, for all your thoughts and comments, and keep them coming. And, and you know, those you know encourage me to continue to make those videos. This is an excited one. Uh, the last video I post, uh, I put in on the channel was about uh, the the how to pass your ASAP uh, board certification. And this one is a, a review of a different uh, study guide uh, that you, you might need uh, in order to pass uh, your ASAP board certification. And this is a very important subject, very, very important. Now, if you a clinical laboratory scientist or maybe your students uh, are trying to maybe you go back to school, uh, finish up and trying to pass the board ASAP is not easy to so board certification is not easy uh, task you're going to study 12 subjects so you need uh, a book that lay down the contents you know uh, so that you understand them and you know and and you go in and, and, and knock it out so the first the first book I'm going to recommend and uh, listen I have no affiliation with no books but, you know this is an honest opinion okay so no affiliation okay uh, the first one called Clinical Laboratory Science Give You a Bottom Line Approach. If you do not have a bottom line approach, Clinical Laboratory Science Give You book, then you need to put down all the books that you have, go to the store, or go down there in my link. I'm going to put uh, the link down for those books. Uh, and, and the, the link down below so that you can get those books. Make sure you get Clinical Labota Laboratory Science Review a bottom line approach. Okay. This book is so good. If you are somebody that they forced to go back to school because you are in a stationer, like a clerk or you are uh, the clinical laboratory technician doing the same amount of work or, say, do, or close to the same work as a clinical laboratory science scientist and get paid less and you feel like you know what I gotta go back to school become a clinical laboratory scientist instead of being instead of staying a, a clinical laboratory technician and make less money than, than a clinical laboratory uh, technologist so this book is for you especially if you don't have a lot of time to study this book lay down the content in a way that's very clear you will understand it very detail oriented and it give you a certain certain trick right so let me give you a simple ex let me give you a, a, an example right when you study chemistry in this book in the chapter that, that study chemistry there's one chapter that that uh, that mentioned hemolysis one of the tag chapter that mentioned hemolysis or hemolysis affect different type of of, of uh, uh, tests different type of te of specific tests right if so leave it on time so this book give you a word a combined word with all of those uh, uh, enzyme combined together right clamp k l a M P K for potassium, L for LDL, you know, A for AST, ALT, uh, uh, and so on. So basically, instead of you trying to remember all of those enzymes, you just remember clamp. Once it comes to hemolysis, clamp is a problem. Potassium K. LDL, AST, ALT. So this is the way, I don't know, they, they were thinking and, and bring certain thing and make you remember when you go to the exam so you know hemolysis affected claim. You don't have to remember all of them, but once you see claim, you, you remember claim. So, and this is one example why 
this book is good is because that it put things in a certain way that make you remember okay so that's the first book I recommend the second book I'm going to this is the first book Greek or Abolato so maybe it's upside down or something uh, science review that's that's all it looks like the second book I'm going to recommend that you have is the BOC maybe it's a yeah. Anyway, the BOC study guide. I recommend the BOC is because that you will need to test your knowledge after you studying those stuff, right? Uh, and and using the the a bottom line approach, you need to test your knowledge, and the BOC is perfect for testing your knowledge. And the BOC give you a bunch of if you only have a BOC and try to memorize questions you're doing it wrong do not memorize questions you need to remember clue right when I say you need to remember a specific clue mission uh, uh, saying that things they will mention in a question that make me specific for this answer and I go, I'm going to give you an example, right? And I think I'm, I, I give you an example in one of my videos before, right? Okay, I, I, I might ask you a question, right? Once they're talking about the uh, Philadelphia chromosome is specific for specific disease. Once they mention it on the question, it belongs to this disease. There's no other answer. It doesn't matter what they say. This is the answer. That's the way you need to study. Remember clue, right? When a patient has uh, a fever that go up one percent, one one degree that go up one degree, right? And and with diff another, we will probably one or two more clue that will tell you when a patient has hemolytic. Uh, 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 reaction right so these those are clue that you need to know or remember uh, that will help you answer those question clues you remember clues right so every cell remember every cell so this book put a, a, a put a cell the design of a blood cell behind a uh, behind the bar okay hairy cell those he, the book lay the, the, the bottom line approach laid down the same way that you will remember and to test your knowledge you need the boc uh study guide okay you need the board uh, certification boc study guide to test your knowledge and one thing about the boc i don't really like is the way that when you have after when you have to go back in the back of the book to verify the questions and then there's no not that much information like detailed information that can explain in a certain way that that make you understand okay what this is the reason they this is the right answer well that's the only thing about the boc All right but hey if you have a bottom line approach most of the time you you have the, the answer in that book and the bottom line approach we lay down why this answer is the right answer if you review it right and the third book i'm going to recommend is uh, medical laboratory science review uh, for, for author is uh, robert r okay robert r this book medical laboratory science review so i recommend this book is because he this book has both combined the book has uh, explicit explanation and questions to answer very good book but the questions for me this is opinion uh, this is my honest review goes too deep outside the clinical laboratory science questions Okay, the, the questions go 
too much outside. When you study, you're studying uh, for an exam that you're going to take uh, 12 subjects exam. You don't have time to go outside and what you need to know. So you need to stay focused. Like in this book, you will find question about uh, uh, general chemistry 101. Okay, well, you don't need general chemistry 101 to take the board certification exam. You took it a long time. It's a prerequisite, cool and then trust me, no, they won't ask you any question about clinical laboratory. Uh, about uh, chemistry, general chemistry 101 in the, in the, in the exam. You won't get any, any reason why I don't like lay it down. A bunch of uh, chemistry 101, general chemistry 101. So this is one, one example. Now, if you're using this book, Medical Laboratory Science Review from uh, Dr. Robert Ha, if you're using it, you have to be careful which question to focus on and not and and you have to pick one the one that you you like and the one you want to focus on and the one you you, you don't want to focus on remember my first recommendation is clinical laboratory science review a bottom line approach number one i'm not sure about any other books that's on the market but this one is good take my word for it and you're going to need to test your knowledge while you're studying and you need the boc to do that and then if you use Robert R book remember to pay attention about the question that you're reviewing because you don't have to waste time in certain question that's not gonna come out in the board certification certification exam thank you for watching this video I hope it was helpful keep the comments coming and uh, bring your thought you know if I say anything that you needed me more explanation you can always you know hit me and I, I, i'm trying my best to answer all the questions thank you very much uh ladies and gentlemen for watching this video uh i wish you a happy fourth of july thank you for all the following uh, uh, uh army you know, those that uh, you know, give their life for this freedom for our freedom in, in america great country you know that uh, you know make us immigrant uh free and give us all the opportunity as everybody else thank you very much uh, for watching this video